Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be going over the Ares SPF3 EVO flight controller and the Ares uh, F3 special PDB power distribution board uh, that goes with the uh, flight controller that I purchased from Hobby Wing on Amazon for right at about 40 bucks. Um, these things are supposed to supposed to connect together and all work together, simplifying everything. Uh, we're going to check that out just to see how how simple it actually is. Uh, it comes with both the power distribution board and the FC. Uh, all these connectors, the buzzer, uh, and a few other accessories I'll show you here in just a little bit. But first off, let's go ahead and get all these out of the way. Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect all these for right now, and I'll show you why in just a little bit. Get that out of there. Get that buzzer out of there. We're going to start with the distribution board. Now, first thing you need to do, of course, is resin all of your solder points. Uh, just take some soldering flux uh, like this that you can get anywhere for relatively cheap. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and hit all these spots that we're going to need. This is basically, and you don't have to put a lot on there. I'll wipe all this excess off before we actually get started. Because it doesn't take much. All it does is, if you don't have it on there, you'll know it. Just helps the solder stick to the board. Stick to all your points where you need them. Like I say, you don't want much on there. Just enough that it knows where to go. So always wipe all the extra off. Because if you don't, when you get to solder and get that stuff hot, it pops everywhere. Makes a huge mess. And you'll never get it off. We got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and. I don't know if I got any on this buzzer or not here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and connect this buzzer first. Plus there, obviously, I'm guessing, is the positive, so we're going to put in there. Tools you'll need for doing this is minimal. Obviously, you'll need a soldering iron, solder, flux. Um, few other things but not much that should have us there Good to go. Now, 
you're putting these in here, what the idea is, is you solder this base in there. And this part actually goes on the FC, and when you stack them, they come together. Well, if you do them individually, there's a bigger chance of getting them kind of off a little bit. They don't line up just right. So I have a S-Bus connector here. I'm going to put all of them into to kind of keep them where they need to go. That way once I solder them in, take the S-Bus connector off and just solder the FC on. We'll be have them all good and straight and all exactly the same. That's the idea at least. Solder on the tip of my gun for this first one. Clean that up. Got way too much on there. Check and see just how straight we got it there. Looks pretty good there. Just about have it come over here. Should that.
Make sure all your points are good, none of them are touching. Let's go ahead and take this out. A little crooked, but at least they're all crooked. Not just some of them, so. That'll work. Now, let's go ahead and do our other two. Good. That bottom one. It touches top one up just a hair. 